فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روب الخير Brothers and sisters, seeking the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not confined to when you think you have made or committed a sin. So if someone were to say, ask Allah's forgiveness, it does not mean that because you have committed a sin that you know of, then only should you say, oh Allah, forgive me. This is a misnotion. This is something that people do not understand. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as we all know, was the Nabi of Allah, the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was the best of creation. He was protected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was in no need of engaging in constant istighfar or repentance. But you will find in the teachings of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and in his way and his path that he sought forgiveness or did what we would term istighfar 70 to 100 times a day according to the correct narrations. This would show us that if we were to follow suit and if we would also ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness, we would be able to achieve something much more than forgiveness alone. And this is why it is important for us to have this on our tongues and in our hearts at all times. Try and moisten your tongue at all times with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, part of which should be seeking the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.